so windy and it's bad because it's cold wind. morning guys Saturday December 30th it's cold it's about 7 o'clock in the morning right now I feel great though I only had about three to four hours of sleep last night I had to pick up my girlfriend's dad from work at 1 o'clock in the morning didn't get back until about 1 30 then I continued to edit until about 3 3 15 got ready for bed 7 o'clock already ate breakfast already got my coffee got my vitamins I feel good right now Today we're going somewhere special, the mountains, Lake Tahoe. I have no idea what we're going to be doing. But first we must pump gas. Minimum octane. Stop, Mount Rose. We've made it to our destination. I have no idea what we're doing here. I know that there's a lodge over there, but I think we just came for the view. So let's go find that view. It's cold, but it's not that cold. They're freezing though. When the wind hits you, it feels like God slapping you. So I might have just walked into snowboarding heaven right now. Got the snow it. store over here. Wait right here. I think this is guest services out. right here, but I don't think anybody's here. Uh, lady told us to come to guest services to try and see if we could ride the gondola at least once. Oh, there's guest services. Could have fooled me. What's that desk for? Turns out we can't ride the gondola going back down because it's an open ski lift. So, what goes up must ski down. freezing out here but we finally made it to the snow we're here at Mount Rose this is just the first stop now let's get going <sighs> you see this no. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. Hey, whoa, 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 be careful. Whoa! It's cold. Hey, whoa, 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 be careful. Whoa! We finally made it to the snow. This is Mount Rose. We still have to truck our journey on our way to Lake Tahoe. We're just here for a brief moment just to capture this beautiful moment, soak it in. Quite an amazing view, honestly. This is my first time stepping on the snow over here on this particular slope in Mount Rose. Look how fast those people are going all the way up there. So there's the training zone for all the kitties. That goes all the way up there. There's another lift that goes all the way up there and there's a lift that goes somewhere beyond those trees. Me personally, I've only been snowboarding once. I wouldn't even consider it snowboarding. I went down a little bunny slope, never been skiing. I would try it, but definitely need to hit the little kitty learning zone first. She's trying to hit me with that snowball. <laughs> Dead hit. She got me. One, two, three. <laughs> 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 Dang, it's cold. It's on my nipples. 
Oh, oh, it's cold. Oh, oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Casey, is the picture good? Zen, where are we headed to next? We're going to the South Lake Tahoe. South Lake Tahoe. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's so windy. And it's bad because it's cold wind. Ooh. My lips are chapper than the Diamondback Desert Snake. My hands, frozen. On our way to Lake Tahoe. Technically we're above Lake Tahoe. It's actually right there. Decided to check out this little scenic spot. Well, would you look at that? That there's a view if I've ever seen one. This is a beauty. We're out of here. That was a cool little pit stop. Now it's time to head to Lake Tahoe. Finally made it to South Lake Tahoe. It's actually an amazing day. It's not too cold outside. Once you get a little bit lower and you're not necessarily in the mountains with the snow, unfortunately there's no snow here around the lake, which is fine because we still get to see the nice view with the mountain in the background with the snow, the nice trees, and it's not too cold. And I don't have to worry about not having snow boots. This here's the Lake Tahoe beatbox freestyle. <laughs> DJ, spin that. <laughs> And here's an update on different sound effects that I can do. Definitely the move to come inside is a lot warmer. Everybody has vegan options. The easiest thing is either to cook your own food or find somewhere that can at least substitute what you can eat. Oh, right, so we're here in downtown South Lake Tahoe. One of the most inconvenient things to do when looking for food, when you're looking for vegan food, is the fact that not every restaurant that you travel to is gonna have vegan food or vegan options. So you're gonna have to somewhat make something up or see if they have anything that's vegetarian. Um, buying pizza is a little bit tricky because not everywhere has vegan cheese and if you just have bread with vegetables that's all it really is, it's not really a pizza. This is what we're eating at. Order pasta and garlic fries just to hold us until later until we get back. So right now we're sitting in this little room, ordered some food to go and it came out to like $43. All that we ordered was pasta, garlic fries, lemonade, pasta was $14, garlic fries was 7 Lemonade is like two or three dollars. Came out to forty-three dollars. It's supposed to be like twenty-four, twenty-five. So now we're trying to figure out where the hell she got this number from and why she didn't give us a receipt. Questionable. Stay tuned. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna tell you guys a story. Okay. We're here at the pizza place. We made it to go because it's like forty minutes to wait for that. So we were like, um, we can eat out. So we were in line. And I was like, my sister can go first, and I didn't know that she ordered underneath my name. She ordered a $19 pizza and then ordered the rest and I was like, why did it give up $43? I have $100 with me in cash. And I was like, why is it $43? It's so expensive. So I have to ask the employee, I was like, is there any way you can give me the receipt because I need to figure out why it came up to $43. So I was like, well, you know, the pasta was only 14 
garlic press is seven dollars and some lemonade, which was three dollars. All right, so here's what really went down with the whole situation. Christy's sister ended up paying for the pizza and they charged the pizza on our tab as well. So we ended up paying for the pizza twice. So they refunded our money, got it back. She was right, she was not wrong. All right, now it's time to head back home. Got our food, we literally just came here to eat. Go see some views, got the vibes, the weather. Now it's time to head back.